Hello everybody, this is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. And here we are in PowerDirector. We have a short clip of a tropical island. And I also have my logo here for my production company. I'd like to overlay that logo onto this video clip. The problem is that when I drag it onto the clip, you notice you can't see through my logo. My logo comes in with this white background. I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to see through the logo. I would like the white to be transparent. The reason this happens is because the logo is a JPEG and JPEGs are not transparent. I want to show you how to make a transparent graphic and this will work regardless of whether it's a logo or whatever graphic you're using. Let's go over to Photoshop Elements and this will work of course if you're working with uh, PaintShop Pro, GIMP, whatever you're working with. It's the same basic principle. This is my PSD or my original graphics file in which I created the logo. If you look over to the right on the layers panel, you'll notice that the elements of this logo are different layers, they're upper layers. And below them all is a background layer. I'm going to just delete that background layer by selecting it and clicking the trash can. And once I do that, my logo becomes transparent at least the original logo here as a Photoshop file becomes transparent. That's what that little gray checkerboard in the background means. Now if I were to save it as a JPEG now, I still end up with a flat graphic with a white background. So I have to save it in a format that saves transparency. The most common or the easiest one to work with is a ping. Now to save it as a ping, all I need to do in Photoshop anyway, is to go over here to file and select save for web. And this opens up a screen where I can choose a variety of graphic formats to output to. I'm going to select Ping 24. That'll give me my full range of color and a transparent background. You notice now that my output graphic is also going to have that checkerboard behind it. So we'll select it as a Ping 24, make sure that transparency is checked. And if I click Save, we'll save it, yep, right here. Now I'll go back over to my PowerDirector project and we'll import that new graphic. There's our ping PNG file. And now when I drag that to an upper video track over my background, you notice that my graphic now is transparent. So in other words, the areas that were not part of the graphic itself are transparent and I get a really nice logo overlay. Now, transparent graphics have a number of uses in a program like PowerDirector. For instance, if you were going to create your own particle from the particle room. When you open up the particle designer, you have the option of adding a graphic. And if you select a graphic here, we can either select from their default library of, and you know, these are all pings, or we can go to the library we created and I can select a shape and as long as it's a PNG that's transparent, I can use it as a particle in my particle designer and design a custom particle with it. Anyway, that's how you use transparent graphics in PowerDirector. Works the same in pretty much any video editor. And if you want to know more about PowerDirector, about how to use it, and about innovative ways to use it to create your videos, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com and if you want to know everything, about Power Director Ultimate, check out the moviepix.com guide to Power Director Ultimate. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.